Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office and thanks for joining me. Merry Christmas. This is a night prayer for Saturday, December 31st, and it's the eve of the Feast of the Holy Name. The scripture for this service, Psalm 48 and Revelation 21, verse 1 to 6. And now join me in singing the third verse of Away in a Manger. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and fit us for heaven to live with thee there. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, Psalm 48. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised in the city of your holy mountain. Mount Zion is beautiful and the joy of the whole earth, for there is the city of the great king. You are known as a refuge in her palaces, for the kings were assembled. They passed by together, they saw it and were amazed. They were troubled and hurried away. Fear took hold of them there, and pain like that of a woman in labor like the ships of Tarshish shattered by an east wind. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of God most high of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. Your praise, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth, and your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion and go all around her and count her towers. Mark her bulwarks and consider her palaces that you may tell the next generation. For this God is our God forever and ever and will be our guide until death. Glory to you, source of all being eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my God, you are great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. A reading from the Revelation to John, chapter 21, beginning at verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. 
Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. And then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, accept our praises. For we have seen your justice, and we are glad in you. Be our guide from this day to the next, now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah and Merry Christmas.